All right, so in this equation, guys, again, I think it's so important to understand what exactly we're trying to find. We're asking to evaluate. All right, so what are we trying to find? What are we trying to find the value of? This is sine inverse of some value. And again, guys, this comes from this equation. Right? So we're trying to find the value of an angle. Right? That's where this comes from. So if you can understand that, you say sine of what equals negative square root of 3 over 2. That's why we did that long process at the beginning so I can you know, give you guys assurance. I just need to find the angle right, that satisfies that. Right? That's basically what we're looking at. And by knowing the unit circle, I know that positive square root of 3 over 2 is this angle right here. Right? And that angle is pi over 3. But I'm looking for an angle that's negative, so it's going to be down here, these two. But the restriction of sine, I don't want to pick these two angles, though, because we just talked about that. Those are outside of the restriction of negative pi halves to pi halves. Right? So it has the angle has to remain within this first, or first and fourth quadrant. So the only angle, obviously this one doesn't work. I can't even get to it with remaining the restraint. I can do this angle, though, just by using the negative version. So my answer is negative pi over 3. All right? So the better you know the unit circle, the faster you're going to be able to do these problems.